Hi world, this is Chatty Dad One coming at you. Oh boy, where do we go from here, y'all? The United States is going to be a third world country within ten years, if not way sooner. Because there's been some serious, serious things gone down. Um, I've learned, and some of y'all probably already know this stuff too, but it began with um, the New World Order and making sure that President Obama was reelected to collapse or reset the dollar. This is from Zero Hedge. Government shut down the next step in collapse in the dollar. Well, the United States um, defaulted in its loan with China. The China is the biggest shareholder of the Federal Reserve. Um, Let's see here. Let's see if this is the one I was looking for. China to purchase the Federal Reserve. Yeah, the Federal Reserve is the largest U.S. debt holder at 2.1 trillion. China is the second US debt holder. The Federal Reserve is the first, China is the second. Well, China is uh, slowly purchasing the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is made up of all the banks in the United States. Every one of them that says that they are insured by the Federal Reserve. Anything with a federal in front of its name, bank, any one of them who uh, issues U.S. currency, dollar bills, is part of the Federal Reserve. Um, we're in big trouble, guys. Big trouble. The U.S. dollar right now is being reset. Chase Manhattan Plaza sale sets record for Chinese buyers. Chase Manhattan building has been reported to have been bought by the Chinese. For the first time in history, Federal Reserve approves the purchase of U.S. banks by China. So China's been buying U.S. banks already. They have been doing it for a couple of years now. Now they're fixing to buy the Federal Reserve. They will be the major shareholder of the U.S. debt, which means they will do some serious damage to us the dollar is going to be <sighs> um, we're going to experience inflation up to 30 to 50 percent um, I mean this is uh, this is bad news people is not a good thing. And they can also confiscate our land. So, you know, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say.
The reality for America is for the next decade or more will be price increase inflation of 30 to 50 percent. And because we've outsourced everything, the United States doesn't produce things anymore. So we have nothing to offer. We have nothing to offer the rest of the world. We can no longer be a consuming nation because the Fed is not going to be there to print money like it wants to because China is going to own it. If they don't already own it for sure, I can't get I can't get a definite answer whether they've finalized this purchase. But they've been seriously trying to do it. And, uh, you know, they've, they've been invading us. We've been invaded, guys. We've been invaded. We've been sold out. And this is from the Trenches, Trenches World Report. But this is sad. This is sad news. And this has been going on for a while. I mean, this has been going on for a while that this is happening. That's why we've got pictures like this. That's why we've got pictures like this. We've been set up. We've been betrayed. And they've sold us down the river to the highest bidder without anyone knowing anything about it because we've been paying attention to Lindsay Lohan and freaking all this other bull crap. The government has been paying attention to football basketball dancing with the stars and freaking who knows what else while our country has been given away sold out from under us and bought up I mean, you know, when they own the Chase Manhattan building, well, Chase Manhattan building has the largest um, it's opposite to the New York Federal Reserve building has been recently uh, okay. The office building of J.P. Morgan with its largest private gold vaults at, Ch at Chase Manhattan Plaza opposite to the New York Federal Reserve Building has been recently sold to the Chinese. This indicates that the U.S. and China seems to be working together in advance towards a global currency reset. We all knew this was going to happen. But it's been happening before this it's been happening for years um let me just go back here and let me go to um the web on this and let's look at some dates at some of this stuff how china can cause the death of the u of the dollar and the entire us Okay, it's November 8th, 2013. Here's November 10th, 2010, death of the dollar. Here's 11 signs we're on the verge of an economic collapse. Do you think that when China owns the Federal Reserve, and everything. Do you think they're going to continue with food stamps? Do you think that they're going to continue when they own 
the economic control of the United States? Do you think that they're going to continue on with EBT cards, with unemployment, with these things? Look at what China does. That's what they're going to do here. The sad thing is, is that we no longer produce anything. And they've been buying up that too. They've been buying up everything they can. And no one has lifted a finger to stop them. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time that we stand up and do something about this. Or we're all going to be out of jobs because they're going to bring their people to work these things and these places. You never trust a trader. The traders are the first ones eliminated after the takeover. Because if you can't trust someone, if a trader will turn on his own people, he'll turn on whoever else is next. So they'll be eliminated first. But this is serious. This is serious problems, guys. We're, we're in serious trouble here. And uh, it will be announced over the weekend. Not this weekend, I hope. Maybe not the next weekend. But one weekend it will be announced that the biggest um, purchase has been made and blah, blah, blah. And there's going to be a restructuring. And, and um, money's going to be the same here in the United States. But overseas... They're not going to take the dollar anymore because it's going to be worthless. Pretty soon, people ain't going to take the dollar here no more because they're not going to be able to buy things overseas with it because we don't produce anything anymore. We've got to stop this if we can, if there's still time. I don't know if we can. And God help us. We've brought this upon ourselves by not paying attention. By not paying attention. By letting them do what they will. I'll put all these links below so you guys can look at them. But um, prepare, seriously prepare now while your money still can buy things. Because there's the time in the scriptures, you know, when it's talking about uh, it'll take a wheelbarrow full of money to buy a friggin' loaf of bread. That's coming up. That's coming up. This is a mess. This is a messed up situation. And um, I didn't realize it was this bad. It's now become very serious. Yeah, we wanted to enter the Fed. But the new boss is going to be worse than the old boss. I guarantee you that. Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe it won't be. But I guarantee you they're connected with these guys right here. I guarantee you they're Illuminati connected. I guarantee you this is part of the plan. The new world government. Coming soon. I hope everybody's well. hope I didn't bring you down. I know I'm pissed off. Personally. I'm disgusted. I don't know how long my money's going to buy. What it bought today. In a month that might cost me twenty dollars to get what ten dollars got today and that's sad we need to start producing things again in the United States everybody they can anyone who can hear me who has any land to plant be able to produce any kind of food any kind of anything worth value do it I don't care what the laws are do it do it to save yourselves 
so that the, at least you'll have seeds to plant. <sighs> anyway, I don't know what else to say, guys, except for pray for us, pray for our country, for the people of our country. Our government's beyond help. They've betrayed us. Never give up your guns. This <laughs> is the last thing we're going to have. I'd rather die free than be made a slave. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.